I guess the original beat that you made it for is the is the um fabulous one. So talk us through how that came about, bro. Yeah, I think that was on the uh the first uh soul tape fab ever did. I think it was soul tape one. Um so I built the uh relationship with Fab through uh again started up. Like I said, I would use started up for like, you know, as a stepping stool. Yeah, for of course. Yeah. So um I connected with Fab. Um I would uh was I te- I think I was e- still emailing beats at the time. So he told me what he was working on and I would just send him beats for for that. You know what I mean? And that happened to be one of the beats. And um that that was that that's pretty much it. Like early I would say this early on in my career, a lot of my placements were through like me just sending emails, you know, you know what I mean? At the time, I don't think there were a lot of producers reaching out uh via like social media like sending like uh dms and 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 messages on twitter you know what i mean like i, I think i don't want to say i was one of the first ones but like that's how i was getting a lot of my placements just reaching out to people well artists on twitter and was like yo i got beats you know what i mean so um back then i wasn't really in a lot of sessions like that neither like i didn't start getting into sessions like until like later on so um I definitely that was definitely like a like an email track. And then he hit me up. He hit me up like I think the week the uh project was getting ready to come out for his release. And he was like, yo, you got one on this um on the soul tape. I would love for you to come up to to New York to check it out and, and be a part of the whole, you know what I mean, the whole listening session and all that stuff. So that was a, a dope one. Okay, now the soul tape is the mixtape, correct? Yeah. Now my understanding is mixtapes are free. There's not there's not something that you can sell. Now, mm-hmm. some of the, based on some of the conversations I've had with some producers, right? If someone approaches, if someone mentions the word mixtape to them, they're gonna run the mile <laughs> because <laughs> what, from what I'm from what I'm told, because because the project is free, mm-hmm. what tends to happen, producers don't get paid for the beat. So, what was the situation regarding this and this mixtape? So at the time, at the time, uh, at the time I didn't, at the time I didn't get paid for it and I used it as, um, you know, like promotion for myself at the time. You know what I mean? I used it like branding. I was branding myself at the time. Like, look, Mm -hmm. I did the fab joint, but I ended up getting paid for it later on. I think, uh. I forget who wanted to use the song. I think maybe it was like for like a, a Vivo campaign or a documentary or some shit. I don't know. I don't remember. But they wanted to use the Fab song, so they had to pay for it. So I eventually I ended up getting paid for it anyway. You know what I mean? Oh wow. Okay. Okay. But um. But yeah, like at that when when Fab told me it was for like. I don't really tend to like want to do mixtape stuff now where I'm at in my mm. career, but early on, I didn't give a fuck. I was trying to get it in. I was trying to get on, you know what I'm saying? So I was taking any and every opportunity and making something out of it. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. So I guess I'm a, not to put words in your mouth. So my assumption would be that you would advise up and coming producers. Yeah. Take the mixtape route because it is effective at getting your name out. Well, what would your, think- your stance would be? Well, I think back back then it was a different time. I would say now you can I would say if I knew what I knew now back then, I shit, I would have fucking charged. <laughs> <laughs> I would have took something. You gotta charge something. You can't do everything for free because then everybody's gonna look to try to get it for free every fucking time. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta charge something. I would say definitely um take opp- every opportunity you can and make something out of it but just i don't charge i don't i wouldn't be mad if you charge a thousand dollars like just charge get something you know what i'm saying like something for your work you know what i mean mm, just mm, don't, mm. don't don't be a pushover just let just work and 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 that's why i say like it's important to have like a manager or or a team and let them and, and let them speak for you if you want to be just about being creative. You know what I'm saying? That's what a manager is for. That's why I got my manager. I don't really I'll talk numbers with a few people, but if I feel like I'm gonna be overwhelmed and I just want to be creative, that's what a manager is for. You know what I'm saying? Mm, if they're gonna mm. come in and say, look, 
we want twenty thousand for this beat. What's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, now, you said something earlier. You said, "Don't just give it away for free, otherwise people will take advantage." Now, I, I spoke to a producer um, a couple of weeks ago, and he said the mixtapes fucked the game up, right? Because initially, mixtapes, right, was people um, using beats that already been put out and just mm-hmm. rapping over it as, prom- as promotional use, right? And then what started happening was that I think people started selling the mixtapes, right? So then it, it kind of like, I can't remember, can't, what, what, what is it I'm even trying to say? It got to, basically, it got to a point where it created the culture where they rap, started calling rappers, albums mixtapes and so they could right. not have to pay pay producers and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. So it, yeah. it created a culture where people didn't want, didn't want to pay for pizza no more. Mm-hmm. So in, in the midst of that culture, how did that impact you? Did it impact you in a negative way? Uh, did it impact? I I mean, by the, by, the, by that time, I want to say I was still charging. So it didn't affect me in a way. Um, I can see how it, I can see how it, it it fucks the game up though, because like I said, I mean shit. Even even I I'm guilty of it, like doing stuff for free. It's like a lot of when you first come in, you don't know any better, so they just they 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 gas you and and get you to do it for free. But if you got somebody that can like give you the game early on, then you can know that you you can still charge for stuff like that, even mixtapes, you know what I mean? It's like, you can still try to, you can still get something out of it. You know what I mean? Mm, 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 no, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, what, what year are we on? We on 20, 2011, still 2011, right? Yeah, um, I only found out about this song last week and I was going for your credits. I was like, oh shit, why have I not heard this song before? Anyway, um, check this out. 